one, Melissa Crook here, designer for Del Bellows Designs. Um, today, I'm going to demonstrate this fun project. It is a star wood shape that is about 12 inches and die or yeah, 12 inches across. Um, so I'm having a kind of hard time to get the whole thing to show on camera. But bear with me, I'll be zooming in anyways to show you what I'm doing. Um, I have stamped this, inked on it, stenciled it, heat embossed, and used um, some liquid pearls. So it has lots of shine and sparkle, and hopefully you can see that on camera, that it's not just a mess. <laughs> um, Okay, so let's go over the supplies needed for this project. And then we'll get started. First of all, we're going to be using one of these wood cutout shapes. Um, I purchased this at a dollar store for a dollar. Um, I have since painted the entire surface white with Waverly chalk white matte finish acrylic paint. You don't have to use chalk. You can do it in any kind of acrylic paint that you have. That will work fine. We will be using the Pink Ink Designs Berry Christmas set. Um, this set includes 10 stamps. Of course, we're going to be using the Polar Bear, the You Are Possum, the two like ice pieces, the snowflakes, the stars, and the border. We won't be using the tree. Everything else we'll be using today. You will need a stamping platform. Um, I have the Tim Holtz tonic. I have the stamp in there. It is a very large stamp. I believe it's about six inches across. Um, so a stamping platform, a misty, or whatever you have, but something big enough for the stamp. We will also be using um, the Sweet Poppy Stencils Snowflake Circle Aperture. So we'll need that. Um, for the embellishments, we're going to be doing some embossing. So you need your embossing tools. Um, we're going to use Wow Super Gloss Super Fine. Also, we're going to be using the Wow Marion Emberson um, Oceanic is the color. The Fairy Dust and Ruby Romance. You'll need an anti-static tool. A piece of paper folded in half to put your leftovers back in the pot. We're going to use some liquid pearls. Um, I have it in white opal and lemon chiffon. For the inks today, we're going to be using Distress Oxide in Uncharted Mariner and Elements in Blue Lagoon. For stamping, we're going to use the VersaFine Claire Nocturne. We're going to use the Versamark watermark stamp pad for embossing. Um, we're going to have some Sweet Puppy stencil tape or any really low, low tack tape. Um, I have a small block for the small stamps. For tools, you're going to need, of course, your heat embossing gun, an embossing gun, not just a heat tool. Um, Blending brushes for the inks. Um, we'll need a mask, and I'm using the Lavinia masking sheets um, for making a mask. I just stamped the bear, and I've already pre-cut it out. Um, I didn't. Cu I cut off the skates because that won't really matter, and just cut all the way around it. That's ready to go. We're going to be using some pins. I have a Uniball silver pin and some various jelly roll pins in blues, reds, greens, yellows. 
for coloring in this scarf. Um, to hang the snowflake when we're done, I have a piece of ribbon that is nine inches long and I have just a little snowflake brad just for a little added decoration. You can use whatever you have on hand. Um, scissors because I cut out the mask. Okay, I think that's about everything. If not, I will have a list of everything, all the supplies with links to the website down below. So first of all, you're going to want to get your little wood cutout star and you want to have a good work surface too. That's important. <laughs> Always forget the work surface, but it is necessary. Um, and I have my star all cut out or painted, excuse me, it's all painted and ready to go and it's dry. So do that beforehand. Very first step, we're going to line up our stamp onto our wood cut out and because I'm going to do a border for the edges we're going to put the skate near this edge and the bottom of this edge so his head is a little off center I think that'll work just fine so we are going to Okay, so I have my top part here, my lid to my stamping platform because of the odd shape. I can't use the base, so I'm just going to place my stamp on my block or and use this as a block instead of using the whole entire platform. So I have, we're going to ink up in the VersaFine Clear. These pink ink stamps are rather large, so they are really good for projects, but sometimes finding the right tools is a little difficult. Okay, anyways, I have him lined up there, and I want about right there. Just lay it down, give a good press, And we are going to heat emboss this. So now we need to have our folded piece of paper that I put right there. <laughs> We're going to sprinkle this with the super fine wow embossing powder. Oh, and you know what? I forgot, which I always forget is the anti-static, I forget it. Okay, so this is a lot of powder and that's okay. I'm trying to get every bit of the stamped image. Okay, we'll just let that fall off. We're going to make a big mess, so that's why you need a big, clean work surface. Give the back a little tap and that'll come off all the extra. 
And now we have all of our extra embossing powder, minus some that fell. And we're just going to clean that up. And I'm going to use my little sweep brush, my Nouveau sweeper. right onto the paper. And in the pot it goes. This is going to be a long video so I'm going to be speeding a lot of it up. I'm going to get my heat tool warming and it takes just a second and then we're going to heat emboss this. Okay, so there we have a nice embossed image. Trying to catch some of the light so you can see that it's pretty shiny. Okay. Okay, we're gonna set that off to the side. And next thing we're going to do is let this cool down just a little, you know, until it's cool. And then we're going to use our Lavinia masking sheet. We're going to pull off the plastic away from the paper. Okay. And then don't lose that. And you can use it again if you do another project. And then we're just going to line that up. line it up just like that and then we're going to take our stencil this the aperture circle snowflake and we're going to line that up just to where the there's this star right here on the bottom if you can see that this the center of that snowflake is in the center of this stencil. So I'm going to put that lined up with there and about there in that area. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, now we're going to take our Sweet Poppy stencil tape and that in the center sometimes these wood cutouts are not real flat so it's best to kind of tape it down hold it in place And it'll keep your other part of your wood protected so you don't go over it. Okay, that's only gonna be on there for just a second, so we'll just leave that like that. It's fine. And now we're going to start with our Distress Oxide Unchartered Mariner. And I'm gonna use my blending brush that I use for that. Tap off just a little bit just to make sure it's got a good amount of blend on there. 
and I'm going to just kind of give this a mottled look. So I'm just going to go kind of here and there and This is just giving our blue some dimension. And now with our Blue Lagoon, I'm going to use my stencil brush for that. And I have different brushes for different inks, so I use my Lavinia stencil brushes with my Elements inks. That's just what I do. So when we're going around with the, I'm sorry, with the Blue Lagoon, we're also going to just slightly come inside of the circle too. So we'll just going to blend that really lightly. And I'm just filling in as I go. And it'll blend the two inks together. Good. Okay, put that away. I'm going to clean up my mess here. And we're going to pull that stencil off. Oops. And then I'm going to give my stencil just a quick wipe here. And then just for the sake of a video, normally I would take this to the sink and wash it off immediately, but we'll do that in a minute. Okay. And you want to do both sides. I can package that we'll go. Okay, now we have that done. Now we're going to move on to our edges and our other stamps. So we're going to use the long, now we're going to use out the little border stamp here and we're going to go along the edges and we are going to emboss those as well. And I'm not going to forget my static tool this time. <laughs> So we're just going to give that a nice little brush all over the edge. Okay. That will help the powder not stick to the wood in other places where you don't want it. I'm going to just put these away. We're done with those. And to use my stamping block for this. 
and try to keep it as straight as I can. Okay, actually, so as you're working on these projects and you're embossing, you want to start from the center and work your way out. Um, you do want to do the snowflakes also, but I think they're small enough that it'll just fall. So I think they'll be okay. Okay, so um, again, we will need our folded piece of paper to catch the leftover embossing powder. And we're going to ink up with the Versamark. And I'm going to go all the way around all of the edges. And just find a good spot to start. This isn't perfectly straight, so I'm going to give my stamp just a little bit of a bend. So you can kind of just mold it to fit your shape that you want. That's better. Okay, and a good stamp press down. And, oops. And go around with this edge too. to use the oceanic so this color it's got several different kind of blues and teals really pretty it's one of the new ones one of the new colors and we're just gonna lightly sprinkle that on all the way around very careful to not smudge it. And of course, I'm trying to keep this on my paper, but it's not all going to stay. So that's why we have our sweet brush and we can just go right over it again. If you don't have a, a sweeper brush, you can use your fan brush also or any um, really fine haired brush will work. Okay, we have that all tapped off. Let's set that to the side for just a second. Clean up our powder here. See, now maybe you can see all the different colors. It's really pretty. I think it would be really pretty on the Lavinia Mermaids. And I'm going to try that out. Okay, so we're going to clean up our surface here. That away, that away. Okay, and now we are going to heat emboss all the way around.
Okay, and just giving it all a check over, make sure I got it all melted. And hopefully you can see that all the way around. Okay, and now we're going to do some of the other little decorations. I have the little, um, I guess they're like snow that's coming off of the ice, we would say. Um, just to give it movement. Um, I'm gonna... I'm going to use my acetate for inspiration on which way this shall go. Just because. So I think maybe. One there. Yeah, we'll do one there and then one there. And we're going to emboss this with the fairy dust. And we're going to ink up again in the first mark. And something like that. And with the other one that's going the other direction, ink that up. And put that there. Because I have some dust on my paper, I'm folding it inside out and using it the other direction so I don't get it mixed in with my glitter here. I'm back in the pot. I'm going to keep this out because I'm going to do the snowflakes next. I'm also going to use the fairy dust as well. Now the fairy dust is embossing glitter. So remember that it So if you can doesn't look very shiny on camera, but it's very sparkly. Okay, and then we are going to do some of the little snowflakes that come with it as well. And I'm going to use my shorty pig for this process. And we're just going to randomly stamp some of these about. Each one that comes with three. So we're going to mix and match here. Trying to keep it centered, it's just not working real well. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to do all of the snowflakes with the fairy dust as well.
can see the little snowflakes. The embossing glitter, because it's a little more chunky, it's kind of hard to get some of those fine details. But you can definitely tell that they're still snowflakes. Okay, and now the last one I'm going to do is the little stars. And I'm going to, I'm going to fill them in with the liquid pearls. So I'm just going to emboss them in clear. But I am kind of changing my mind. I think I'm going to actually use the Golden Meadow. And see how that works. I'm going to put them right on each of the corners. And the only reason that I'm going to emboss the star is to just give the liquid pearls a bit of a place to adhere to, or, you know, to keep it in a line, it's easier. So, turning my page inside out because I have a lot of glitter on that side. Clear. I'm going to color in with my pins. I am going to get my little plastic sheet from my masking tape and start to peel this off. I'm going to keep this in camera so you can see what it looks like. And just line that back up. Sometimes I think it's harder to put this back on than what it was to do anything else. And it's easier to just start on one side, just like when you're laying it over your stamped image, just pick one side and just keep lining it up and press it down. There you go. And now you have a good mask and you can keep this with your stamps and use it again later. So now we're going to color in and decorate our polar bear. So I'm going to use my jelly roll pins. Color in his tongue pink. I'm going to use the red on his hat.
just to dry that up a bit. Okay, and now with our liquid pearls, we'll start to the inside, work our way out. So I'm gonna start with the white opal, and I am going to do the ball of his hat. And if you just swirl this around with your tip, it gives it kind of a cotton effect. Plus it gives it texture and dimension. And we're gonna do the centers of the snowflakes on our stencil. And then we're going to lastly fill in our stars with the lemon chiffon. And do all the dots around it. Our little mess up here that I made. So I take my paint, grab a paint brush, and ever so carefully, I'm just gonna fix that little spot there. And if you've made any other little mistakes, just get out your paintbrush, fix it. And that's acrylic paint, so it's water cleanup. Okay, so. I think also after I'm gonna let gonna let all your liquid pearls dry and then we'll go in I should have um yeah I'm gonna just well no I can't do it. You can't heat set liquid pearls. Um they will bubble up and they they don't look so pretty. Um you might be able to but I don't I don't trust myself doing that. So I'm not going to. And we're going to just run our ribbon through and tie a knot. I'm not good at tying bows either. I wish I was, but nice pretty bow on top would be really cute. But if you're good at that, do it. It looks, it would look nice. I am just going to tie a knot and make a simple loop to hang mine. Pull that tight and then I'm just going to take my scissors and trim it up. And even this little bit of ribbon has glitter. <laughs> And it's making a big mess too. So messy craft projects fun. Hold. 
this. I could go either way. There's our little loop, and I have this little snowflake brad here that I'm gonna just push through there and open it up on the back. That'll help hold that loop in place. And you have a nice place to hang your project. Oh, oh, I was gonna do the, oh, I forgot. <laughs> I was gonna do the You Are Possum stamp and I was gonna have it out here, but I didn't. So there you have it. <laughs> so that was a super cute fun project i hope you guys like i hope you can see how super shiny and glittery it is and it don't look like a big glob <laughs> um but that's that's that um so i want to thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this project um Remember, you can use your supplies for other items. They don't just have to be paper. You can make other home decor items. Um, stamping and embossing on wood is fun. Um, takes a little practice, but you know, these things, you can buy them at the dollar store for a dollar. Um, and they're cute. They'll make a cute Christmas present or Christmas gift or just a Christmas decoration to have in your own house. So much fun i just love it um and you can always add more details embellishments with the items that you have but these are all products that are carried minus the the wood and the ribbon you can purchase all this stuff on Dalbello's website so thank you for watching hope you guys have a great day mm -hmm.